The Toys of Peace The author of this lesson is Saki, also known as Hatchard Munro. Let us start with a summary of this lesson. The Toys of Peace is a humorous British short story which makes fun of a community formed of anti-war organizations against violent toys. The story starts with Eleanor Bob showing Harvey a newspaper cutting about the National Peace Committee. The newspaper cutting said that the committee will be demonstrating peace toys at the children's welfare exhibition. This was to na- navigate the young children from violent toys to civilian figures associated with the developing world and so Eleanor asked Harvey to make sure his Easter gifts are sensible. Eleanor has two boys, Eric and Bertie. On Easter Saturday, Harvey brought a huge box and unpacked it and removes a number of items. Eleanor tells her sons that their uncle has brought interesting toys this year. The children are anticipating somewhere between Albanian solder and uh, Somali camel corpse. The first toy their uncle takes out is a square, rather featureless building. Astonished boys argue that it is either a fort or a fortified Albanian palace. Meanwhile, Harvey makes them realize that it is a municipal bin. He removes the next toy out, that is, little figure of a man in black clothes. John Stuart Mill, an authority of on political economy. Next comes a model of Manchester branch of Young Women's Christian Association, and then a representation of the Sunday school founder Robert Riggs. There were many other toys such as sanitary bakehouse, lead figure of a sanitary inspector, voting ballot and a couple more officials. Harvey tries to explain the functions of all these equipment. Then he shows equipment such as a wheelbarrow hoe, beehive, ventilator, ventilating sewers, and uh, some more figures of Mr. Heyman's, Roland Hill, and Sir John Herschel. Eric wonders how they are expected to engage with the civilian figures. Harvey proposes holding a vote for a parliamentary seat. Harvey swiftly explains the voting process to the guys who are delighted to anticipate gory drunken fights. The lads tend to give up and instead opt to finish their history homework. Harvey retreats to the library and uh, wondered if he could find an alternative to teach kids history without bloodshed, wars and massacres. Harvey arrives later to see how the lads are doing and discovers them having fun. They make a war scenario out of the toys, much to Harvey's dissatisfaction. Manchester is being invaded by the French. Other civilian individuals are utilized to symbolize the military and victims. And Robert Rex is now Leo's footing. The trash can has been transformed into a fort. Soldiers, soldiers raid and um, kidnap the girls from the Young Women's Christian Association. One of the females stabs J.S. Mill, who is playing Marshall Saxe. To depict the gruesome demise, Bertie splatters crimson ink and uh, the peach. The conclusion of the narrative is especially intriguing as both Harvey and Eleanor appear to acknowledge defeat when it comes to the boys. Preferred Toys 
rather than trying to regulate Eric and Bertie's behavior. Inner and Havik would be better off accepting that bo both boys are just kids. Forcing them to modify their activities would be detrimental because it would suffocate their freedom. Havik feels that despite of bringing them toys of peace to reduce their primitive instincts of violence, it was too late. It is like opening one eye and shutting the other when the entire country and those in power use violence. He believes that changes should be made at the most authoritative post than in the basic units that is little children. Undo satirically wants to tell the National Peace Council that these exhibitions won't work as change should be brought out by the elders by changing their attitude towards violence than starting with the kids. Thank you for watching. Please share your reviews in the comment.